Okay, I have something very cool to show you today. This is an integrated um, string clamp and headpiece for Steinberger bass. Very natty. Okay, so the way it works is, um, so this is your standard, uh, this one needs a bit of an L paint. That's your standard string headpiece head piece thing for an XL2, okay? You hook in your double ball end strings in them slots, you pull it tight, and then you go down the other end and you pop your string in the jaw and then you turn that and the jaw comes in like that and tightens up the string, okay? So, up to now, you could get by using one of the, the original headpiece, and this goes for the honer bases as well, by getting a string clamp. Like this one's attached to some strings still, but look, this is how they work. So the string goes in there and you get an Allen key and you tighten that up and uh, hold your string in at the ball end down there, tighten it up there and tune the string to pitch and that will hold this on. So it's actually just string tension holds that on. It goes on when it's done, it goes on something like that. Okay. And that's a nice neat little arrangement. Uh, the only thing is this is a bit fiddly because until you get the first string on and clamped, you're trying to hold it still and it can move around stuff. This thing is pretty cool because it's all in one. And I love the brass look now, but you can get them in black, I think. So let me just show you how it works right now. I'm gonna be like the, the car guys who are fixing these with one hand. Here is how you fix a Citroen heater. So what you do is you poke the string through here. Okay, this is standard Fender uh, 7250 string. I like those. And they're the three bolts that hold on the headpiece, like here, okay. Okay, but these four are string clamps. Now the original L2 before the XL2 had something very similar. So then what you do is you come down this other end and you, sorry, like this is really hard to do with one hand. And you pop the string in the jaw there. Now, with your other hand, with your right hand that is holding the phone, <laughs> you hold that in, okay? And you run that back up there and you push it through, okay? And then pull that tight. And then what you do is you get your Allen key and you tighten that string up. And then what I do, instead of cutting them, I bend them there, bend them back and forth, and eventually what happens, they snap off behind this piece. Or you can just trim them with a string, um, you know, uh, snips. But what that lets you do is use whatever strings you want. The string clamps do the same, by the way. Right, it just, it's not quite as neat a solution as that. So um, I don't actually know what it costs because I ordered a load of stuff off this guy and there was one price for everything. So I must ask him, but I'll include the link below in the comments, not in the comments, in the description, if you want to get one for yourself. What I'd say is look at current prices. So we're in December, 2022 and in Ireland, uh, a set of Dario double ball end strings could run you, I don't know, 50, 50 euros. Um, I have heard of people being charged that for them because there isn't a big demand. Uh, I like Fender 7250s. And I also like Ernie Ball. So you're looking, what, 22, 25 quid, that kind of money, some, you know, 20, 25 quid. So I would imagine that, you know, let's, I don't know what this thing costs, like I said. I know these fellas are about 30 quid, 35 quid, 40 quid, that kind of money. I don't know what that is. I'll find out. But, what I'd say is that over the course of your life of, with this instrument, it'll pay for itself. Do you know what I mean? Like, so there's the financial end, but for me, it's more about having a wider choice of strings to to try. You know, you you can use whatever strings you like with it. Anyway, nice neat little solution. Like, I think I think they do them for the honers and spirits as well. But uh, even if you don't get one of them get a regular string clamp. Um, it's made by the same fella. So, uh, they have them four, four and five strings. Just handy little doodad for my headless friends out there. Okay, sorry for the quick kind of rushed uh, video quality, but hopefully um, that was of use to you. Thank you.